Hello there, it's Ruth Sherman, CEO and celebrity speech and media coach, but you don't have to be famous to work with me. I had to go into New York City for an event last night. It was something I was really looking forward to. Anyway, um, I drove in, which was kind of dumb because as you may know, the Super Bowl is taking place in, in, and New York has pretty much set aside Times Square, which is right where the meeting was, to um, have this big event, this big fun event with bands and, and so forth. They're celebrating the Super Bowl. Uh, so. I, I got to New York. It took me an extra 45 minutes, usually takes me 45 minutes, so it took me twice as long to get there. I parked the car in a garage near the uh, event, struggled with the traffic. I know, I know, I should have t taken public transportation. And then I got to the venue where the event was supposed to be and found out to my chagrin that the actually the event had been moved. I had not received a notice, so I was not a happy camper. Now, if you know anything about New York, you know that if I had had to then retrieve my car, drive all the way downtown, it was all the way at the bottom of Manhattan from Times Square, it would have taken me another hour. And by that time, the event would have been about three quarters over. So I decided to just get in the car and go home. So I, of course, I was feeling like, ugh, you know, ugh. I was feeling worse than that. But um, I got to the garage and who should be standing there next to me waiting for his car? but the amazing and gifted genius Steven Spielberg. Now, even I have a hard time not staring. And of course, I know being in the celebrity world that you really want to give these people some space. Nobody else was approaching him. I certainly wasn't going to go up to him and say anything. I didn't want to intrude on his valuable private space. You know, these people just want to be treated like, like, um, like regular human beings, even though they're not. <laughs> But what it got me thinking on my way home, instead of being angry, it got me thinking about his genius of storytelling. Nobody spins a yarn like Steven Spielberg. And although I recently did a video on storytelling because I get a lot of questions about how many times do I tell the same story, it occurred to me how many times I have seen Steven Spielberg's movies, Jurassic Park. I've seen all three of them at least 10 times each, probably much more. I've lost count, to be honest with you. Along with The Color Purple and um, Schindler's List. So I have seen these movies so many times. I know what's going to happen in these movies. I know the outcome. I know when to hide my eyes. I know when, um, I know when it's going to be funny, but I still love seeing them. I love going on the journey with them, with him. And this is what happens when you tell the same story over and over again, provided it's a good one. It's got to be good. All right. Uh, people who have heard your story before also want to relive it. They want to, they want to know, they know when the laughs are going to be, they know when the poignant moments are going to be, and they enjoy going through it with you again. So once you find a great story, don't let it get away. Keep telling it. And even though you think they're going to be bored with it, you're wrong about that. So if you want to learn more about great storytelling, hop on over to ruthsherman.com where you can download my celebrity video charisma secrets absolutely free.